I don't actually know how to start this video because this is something different from my previous videos but I want to share it to everyone how this whole situation affects our long distance relationship and I hope this could help you if you are in the same situation as we are. I know it's already hard to be in a long distance relationship but it became harder because of these things, lockdowns, travel bans, closed borders, and everything. And for us, we're supposed to be together now for his birthday with his family. But everything was cancelled and we are left actually not just us but everyone who are in a long distance relationship. We are left with this one big question and that is when are we going to see our partners again? And maybe the only answer is soon, but the question is, how soon is soon? I know it's frustrating, but I want to share to you some tips on how we deal our long-distance relationship during this difficult time. So first is to communicate as much as you can. I know that this is very essential, even, even without this pandemic, but use this time to spend more time with your partner, especially that we are staying at home, so we have so much time. So communicate as much as you can. And when you communicate, always be honest and open to your partner. How you feel, your worries, and everything. Tayo mga babae kasi minsan, Actually, hindi siya minsan, madalas. <laughs> Ginagawa natin manguhula yung mga lalaki. Gusto natin na sila yung makapansin if there is something wrong. At kung hindi nila yun mapansin, we will be upset. Magagali tayo lalo. So, if you are upset with something, communicate. May hindi ka nagustuhan, tell your partner. Always be open. At yung kadalasan ginagawa natin is we walk away from an argument. But sometimes it's okay, just make sure that you will use that time to cool down and think. Pero syempre wag yung patagalin. So do not let your partner sleep mad or sad. Always make your feelings and your needs clear as in claro. Second is to be there for your partner and reassure each other. So let your partner feel that you are there no matter what happens. Hindi natin alam kung kailan ito matatapos. Plus the fact that we don't know when are we going to see them again. So yun pa yung isa pang dagdag stress. At dito rin pumapasok yung mga fears. Ang daming what ifs. What if mapagod? What if hindi kayanin? What if maghanap ng iba? What if mawala ng gana? And believe me guys, I had those fears too. But my partner always assures me that I have nothing to worry. And all we need to do is to trust each other. So it is very important to reassure your partner. Remove that doubts, remove that worries. So reassure your partner that you're not gonna give up no matter what happens. And ladies, do not just wait for men to do it. They need assurance too. So make them feel that you are there and you are staying no matter what happens. Third is date night and quality time. So that is something na hindi pwedeng mawala. So if you could dress up and spend time, why not? Watch movie together, eat together, video chat dates. Sabi nga nila, pag gusto, meron at merong paraan yan. So keep that connection intact. So aside from the ways that I mentioned earlier, guys, you can also, this is just a suggestion, guys. So you can make a playlist that is inspired by your relationship. So uh, every time you play that, you will remember your partner. You can also try to cook the same meal and uh, play games online. Kahit ano, kahit anong paraan at maraming paraan. So keep that kind of bond. Fourth is make plans for the future. Plan something that both of you can look forward to. I know that every relationship has a goal, but do not just have a goal. Have a plan to reach or to make that goal happen. And even if you are not in a relationship, if you are single, it's always better to have something to look forward to. It may be travel or kahit ano na ma-excite kayo. You can also discuss your long-term goals, what you both want for the future, and have a plan kung paano nyo maaabot yun. For example, investments, mga bagay na gusto nyong gawin when you are together, mga businesses na gusto nyong pasukin, ilang anak ang gusto nyong gawin, joke. Basta yun, always have a plan for the future. 
And last is to be positive and be patient. Keep in mind that this is just temporary and have faith that everything will be okay. Always remember why you're in this relationship that your love is bigger than this trial. It's okay to be sad and it's okay not to be okay. So just cheer up and pray that everything will end soon. So just be there for each other. Do not overthink. Be more understanding and trust each other. I'm not an expert when it comes to this, when it comes to relationship, but everything that I shared to you is based on our experience and how we deal with it. And actually, I just learned it from my partner, Jill. So, para lang akong echo dito na kung ano yung natutunan ko sa kanya is sinishare ko sa inyo. I know this pandemic is very challenging to everyone, including the LDR couples, pero ang palagi nilang naming iniisip that we are both healthy, our families are healthy, we have work, we are safe, we have everything that we need, and we have each other no matter what. So yun yung pinaka-importante sa amin ngayon. This is just a trial that we could simply overcome, and this is nothing from what people are facing right now. Ang daming nagugutom, ang daming nawala ng trabaho, walang income. So yun, we are still blessed. So just maintain that positive mind and don't forget to pray. And actually, today is his birthday and he's a bit sad, so I hope everyone could wish him a happy birthday. So to Jill, I just want to greet you a very happy birthday. Know that I am always here for you and I am very thankful that I have you. And thank you for being so, so, so supportive. I am proud and will always be proud of you. I love you so much. Happy birthday, love me. Meron mga taong gustong mag-greet sa'yo na sobrang mahal na mahal ka. So, here they are. Hi, Kuya! Happy, happy birthday! Um, I wish you all the best and all the success. More blessings to come. Kaya mag-ingat dyan and see you soon. Hi, Kuya! Happy birthday! Um, I wish you all the best. Be healthy. More success on your career and also on your love life. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being a good brother to me. I love you so much and enjoy your day. I'll see you soon. Bye. Anak, happy happy birthday kaya sa amin ni Mami. Wish ko sana maging success ka pa sa, sa buhay, sa lahat ng mga plano mo. At saka lagi kang pray dyan. Uh, doble ingat sana sa trabaho mo dahil rest ang trabaho mo. Ingat ka dyan. God bless. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Jun Jun! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Put your spit, you so nasty, you so nasty.